guys so today i am doing a monologue from the notebook this is towards the end of the movie where ali kind of admits to herself that she's still in love with noah i am going to just jump right into the monologue and then afterwards i'll talk a little bit about how i prepare for a monologue like this especially when it's on short notice or something like a cold read I prayed for you to die during the war. Well, <laughs> I really did, Noah. I mean, not die. I would have felt terrible if you died. But I just wanted you to kind of not be alive anymore. I couldn't bear the thought of you being with someone else and us never being together again. Which is why I should go now, don't you think? Oh god, no, I am so confused. It may not seem like it, but I am. For seven years, no matter what I did, I couldn't get you out of my mind. And then I met Lon, and he's really great, and I told him that I'd marry him, and I want to marry him, I really do. <laughs> and then I, I saw your picture in the paper, and I knew I couldn't marry him until I'd seen you again. Because we never really finished things. Not really. And now here I am, and, and all those adolescent feelings come back, and I still love Lon, and I'd never break off our marriage, but basically all I want to do is crawl under a rock for the rest of my life and stay there, so what do I do? Leave before I make a total mess of things, right? Or do I say to hell with everything and just stay here and enjoy whatever time we've got left? You tell me, Noah. So... There's a lot going on under that monologue, if you think about it. She's very conflicted. Um, as you can tell from the dialogue, she's just not dialogue, from the actual monologue of the piece, she's very conflicted with how she's feeling and what she wants to do. And in my opinion, and the way that I decided to play it, is that she wants Noah to give her an out and tell her to stay because she knows that really what she should be doing is leaving. Um, and she shouldn't be there, and this is not a good idea because it's going to completely wreck her life. So there's a lot to play there, and I hope you guys caught some of that. Um, those are the things that you kind of have to think of when you're speaking these words. Like, what are you feeling? And what is going on in your head? Because when you're saying something like this, especially something dramatic in real life, um, you always have those kind of thoughts, the things that you want to say, but then you reword. So for example, if I, you know, I'm holding back the fact that I'm in love with someone, I have thought it. I'm like, oh man, I really like you, or you're really great. Or in the back of your head, you're thinking, oh man, I love you, you know? So we've all been in those instances where you have that inner dialogue that, that is just like fighting with the monologue that's coming out. And you really wanna be able to play that. So actually have it in your head. Um, if you don't have time to memorize the words, read them over take your time and when you're doing your monologue when you're reading it take your time it's okay to stop it's okay to pause it's okay to let there be a break um and if you notice at the end i took a minute to kind of stare the camera down that's really important especially in a film acting audition um let the camera into you let it see all the things you're feeling because the camera catches those things whereas on a stage or a play people don't necessarily don't. The camera sees 
everything. So it's really important that you want to let it see all the things that you're feeling and continue to feel those things and have that beginning and end kind of bookending the words that you're saying. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really liked this monologue. I did. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you very much.